Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza Wall from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one is, uh, you know, just another lesson in hopes to edify those of the hopeful elect, mainly to make a statement, you know. I would say answer a question, but, you know, when we teach this word, we make statements which are given to us by Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. All right? And it's his word in which we preach, not ours. And um, you're going to have false prophets. You're going to have men who, you know, be that light, so-called light of, uh, of truth. But really they're not. Because as the scriptures say, as I, I have pulled up here, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there's no light in them. So if you don't speak according to this truth, which is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then there is no light in them. You got a lot of rappers, celebrities, you know, everybody's claim to be woke, speaking some sort of truth. You know, they hint, hint on who they are. They know the Hebrews, they know the Israel. All right. But that doesn't mean they're in the truth. Just because they tell you, you know, what they what they heard. OK, to be in this truth, first off, you have to be an Israelite. Isaiah 46 and three. All right. Born by me from the belly and carried from the womb, as the Most High said, Yahweh. All right. And that's a bloodline. Number two, when you wake up to the fact that you're a Hebrew Israelite, you must walk in the ways of being a Hebrew Israelite. All right. Not a nigga. Not one foot in the world and one foot in, one foot in the truth. You know, the first step is knowing, all right? And the second step is putting it to action. And as the scriptures say, don't just be a hearer of the word, be a doer of the word. All right, so back to the scripture here, Isaiah 8 and 20. Excuse me for this breathing. I know I might be breathing heavy, so lock you. But anyway, this is uh, eight, Isaiah 8, verse 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And that light is Yahweh Shai. If they don't speak according to the law of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they speak against the law, they're not of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. If they don't speak the testimony of Yahweh Shai, okay, that he died on the cross and gave his life, he spilt his blood to be that ultimate sacrifice for the Israelites, in particular the elect, then there's no light in them. They're not speaking the truth. Okay. Now let me grab another precept. It says, if they speak not according to this word, the word is Yahweh Shai. It is because there is no light in them. All right. So let me grab this next precept here. This is St. John chapter 7 and 38. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. All right. So Yahweh Shai is saying, that he that believeth on Yahweh Shai, as the scriptures say, all right, not coming out of their own mouth and their own um, opinion, or let's say philosophy, okay? But as the scriptures say, it says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, which is this word, man, meaning he's going to speak the truth, man. Okay, every time when he speak, he's speaking of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, or in reference of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the testimony of his word, the law. All right. He's, his belly is going to flow with living waters. He's going to be a man considered with, uh, wise. All right. Which is able, you know, to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's light to shine upon the rest of the elect. All right. So, you know, just because someone may say and speak about being an Israelite doesn't mean they're woke. Okay. You know, Esau is doing a lot of, um, a lot of trickery, man. Scriptures say we're not ignorant to Satan devices. And a lot of these celebrities, they're basically, you know, playing the game and really trying to draw, all right, the uh, the Lord's people 
you know, into more sleep. Which the Lord, all right, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you know, he spoke of two thirds of his people being asleep, put into a slumber, all right, purposely, because the Lord not dealing with all of Israel. The Lord is only dealing with the elect. All right, so from here, let me get another precept real quick. And this will be in, um, uh, I believe it's 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. It says, but of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. All right, because the men who woken up to this truth, starting with the men, I should say, because there's few women, all right, that, that's going to believe. But you will understand the gospel. You will understand the prophecies. So at the time that the Lord is going to judge and bring forth his vengeance, there is no time. I mean, excuse me. There is no need for the Lord to write unto you. OK, for the Lord to even speak to you because you know what time it is. All right. It says, but of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you for yourselves. Know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness. Now, here's the point that that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober for they that sleep sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night but let us who are of the day be sober putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet the hope of salvation for yahweh have not appointed us to wrath but to obtain salvation by our lord yahweh shai mashiach all right so we're supposed to be woke and having a hundred percent truth and that's why you're supposed to be following great millstone you know, so beware of false prophets, okay, that come to you in sheep's clothing, you know, speaking lies, speaking truth mixed with lies, which really makes everything they speak of is a lie, all right, because the truth is of no lie. The scriptures say the Lord said the truth shall set you free, and what are you free from is all the strongholds and the lies and deception of Satan, which is really given down to the counterpart of Satan, which is Edom. All right, Edom, Esau, Edom. Okay. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Salakia for all this, you know, strong breathing. I'm actually walking here at the park, and you know, just wanted to do this show while I was in spirit, and uh, basically to make a statement. You know, folks is asking me, you know, about you know truth and lies. Well. You know a man that speaks the truth if it's of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, which is according to scripture, all right, not what someone make up in their own head. If they can't pull a precept and a scripture, all right, on what they're saying, then you need to walk away, all right, okay, you need to get away from that person, all right. So if someone tell you about this truth or about the truth, they should, they should be speaking of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Not every uh, one is versed in the scriptures because you may be new. But I tell you this you can, you know, halfway word a scripture, a verse, and Google, and it'll come up, you know, something similar, you know, to maybe what you're looking for. All right. And, and if that don't work, you know, off the rip, then you're just going to have to do some searching you're gonna have to dig you know our pastors teach us you know we have to work all right everybody got to give their own due diligence in this truth all right to be in the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai all right because you're going to be tried and you want to have the breastplate and the hel the helmet of salvation okay the sword you know which is all uh you know um metaphors of faith you know, having your armor on so that when Satan shoot his fiery darts, you know, they don't sting you or penetrate through your body, man. And you don't be snared with a hot iron, you know, being seduced by spirits. All right. This truth of ours is a fight. 
It starts off with you knowing, all right, studying, you know, enough that you eating enough that you well convinced to have a full insurance of faith, all right? So, like I said, to answer that person's question or to make a statement for that person's question, if you don't speak according to this word, there's no light in them, you know? And if you're reaching for anything else, if you can't understand that, then that's on you, all right? You know, because the truth is straightforward, it's simple, you know? It's simple, it's not hard, you know? If Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is dealing with you, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.